Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 6 to the power of x plus 2 minus 6 to the power of x this is equal to 60. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. Now this exponential equation here is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 6 to the power of x times 6 to the power of 2, subtract 6 to the power of x, this is equal to 60. Now we have that 6 to the power of x is common here, we can factor out 6 to the power of x, so that into the parentheses, here we have 6 squared, which is 36, subtract 1, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 60. So here we have 6 to the power of x, multiplying by 36 minus 1, this is equal to 35, and this is equal to 60. Now let's divide both signs by 35, here 35. So let's simplify that 5 and that 5 here, so that now 6 to the power of x, this is equal to, now we can simplify here, 60 divided by 5, this is 12, and that 5 divided by 5, this is equal to 7. So we have 12 over 7. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. Here we have log 6 to the power of x, this is equal to log this is 12 over 7. The next step is that rog 6 to the power of x, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which can be expressed as n rog a. Applying this power rule property of logarithm, then rog 6 to the power of x becomes x rog 6. This is equal to rog, this is 12 over 7. So let's divide both signs by rog 6. Here we have rog 6. Now let's simplify rog 6 and rog 6 here, so that now x is equal to rog 12 over 7 divided by rog 6. The next step is that rog 12 over 7, this is in the form of rog, a over b, which essentially we can express as rog a subtract rog b. So let's apply this property. So applying this property, then we have x is equal to, this is rog 12 divided by rog 6, subtract rog 7 divided by rog 6. Now, the next step is that we can express 12, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 times 3. And this implies that x here is equal to rog 2 to the power of 2 times 4 times 3 divided by rog 6. Then subtract rog 7 divided by rog 6. Now, rog 2 to the power of 2 times 3, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Now, applying this property as well, you have x will be equal to rog 2 to the power of 2 divided by rog 6. Then we have plus rog 3 divided by rog 6. Then subtract rog 7 divided by rog 6. Now the next step is that let's use the power rule property here. That is rog 2 to the power of 2. This actually becomes 2 rog 2 divided by rog 6. Then plus here we have rog 3 divided by rog 6. Subtract rog 7 divided by rog 6. 
Now, the next step is that we have rock 2 over rock 6, rock 3 over rock 6, and rock 7 over rock 6. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have x is equal to 2 rock 2 to base 6, then plus here we have rock 3 to base 6, then subtract rock 7 to base 6. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. So let's verify from here. Now, if you recall, we hand that 6 to the power of x plus 2, subtract 6 to the power of x, this should give us a value of 60. Substituting the value of x here, this implies that here we have 6 to the power of 2, rock 2 to base 6, then plus rock 3 to base 6, then subtract rock 7 to base 6 plus 2, then subtract 6 to the power of 2, rock 2 to base 6, then plus rock 3 to base 6, subtract rock 7 to base 6, this should give us a value of 60. Now we have that 6 to the power of 2, rock 2 to be 6, plus rock 3 to be 6, minus rock 7 to be 6, plus 2. And what we have here, this is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n, multiplied by a to the power of m, as well as a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n over a to the power of m. So let's apply these two exponent properties so that now here we have 6 to the power of 2 rock 2 to be 6 multiplied by 6 to the power of rock 3 to base 6 then multiplied by we have 6 to the power of 2 divided by here we have 6 to the power of rock 7 to base 6 then subtract we have 6 to the power of 2 rock 2 to base 6 then multiplying by 6 to the power of rock 3 to base 6 divided by 6 to the power of rock 7 to base 6 this should give us a value of 60. now the next step is that this 2 here, this is a power, so this means that we can express this as 6 to the power of rock, 2 to the power of 2 to be 6, multiplying by, now here you have 6 to the power of rock 3 to be 6, then multiplying by 6 squared which is 36, then dividing by, here we have 6 to the power of rock 7 to be 6, subtract now 2 is the power here so we can express this as 6 to the power of this is rock 2 to the power of 2 to be 6 multiplying by 6 to the power of rock 3 to be 6 divided by 6 to the power of rock 7 to be 6 minus 6 to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to be 6 times 6 to the power of rock 3 to be 6 divided by 6 to the power of rock 7 to be 6 this is supposed to give us a value of 60 so here we have now 6 to the power of rock 3 to be 6 as well as 6 to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to be 6 as well as 6 to the power of rock 7 to be 6. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a and this essentially is equal to b. So applying this logarithm property then you find that 6 to the power of rock 2 to the power of 2 to be 6 this should give us a value of 2 to the power of 2 which is 4 and then we have 6 to the power of rock 3 to be 6 this should give us a value of 3 and then we have 6 to the power of rock 7 to be 6 this should give us a value of 7 so let's substitute 
this into the equation here. So we have 4 multiplying by 3 multiplying by 36, then divided by 6 to the power of 7 to be 6, which is 7, then subtract 4 multiplying by 3 divided by 7. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, here we have 4 times 3, this is 12. 12 times 36, this is actually equal to 432. Then minus 4 times 3, which is 12, divided by 7. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. So 4 that's 2 minus 12, this is equal to 420, divided by 7. This should give us a value of 60. And this implies that 420 divided by 7, this is equal to 60. So we have 60 on the left hand side is equal to 60 on the right hand side. And this and this proves that, that the value of x, which is 2, rock 2 to be 6, plus rock 3 to be 6, subtracts rock 7 to be 6, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.